Are you hunting? Did you find anything? What's in there? <laughs> hey, lovely people. This is Sean. I'm at the lovely place. It's a lovely day. Uh, I think it's officially fall, like, like right now. And so uh, we we see that the the lower part of the woods are thinning out, and uh, the the green leaves are still green. Looking forward to the change of colors. That's going to be a little while yet. But uh, speaking of hunting. Uh, Luna, or baby doll, she was down there checking out this little pile. She's always on the hunt. Bambi, she's always up to no good. What are you posing for? What's that all about? I, uh, I've got something today I want to show you that we're going to be putting together that's, uh, you know, the kind of the lead up to potential deer hunting. And so what we've got here is one of those cheap deer feeders uh matter of fact i got that thing on clearance for 66 bucks uh, maybe a year or two ago and i have yet to get it put together so we're going to put it together today this is the wild game quick set 225 digital poly barrel fin feeder kit i started to say fender kit it's a feeder kit y'all and uh so it holds 225 pounds 15 minute setup. Let's see if I can accomplish that. One to four feed times per. What are you looking at? Hey, you think I'm talking to you? Huh? One to four feed times per day. Oh, you heard me say feed, didn't you? You think it's feeding time. That's what we want to feed right there. And we want to bring them in so that we can get a lot of good footage on our keen camera that we've got down at the low oak trail so let's get this thing put together and let's see if we can uh kind of stir up some attention and get some deer down there there's already a bunch down there my keen camera i'll show it to you um i took it home i took it off and charged it actually we took four of them home this is the late summer charge that i've told y'all about about twice a year when the foliage gets full in the early summer or late spring and in the uh, late summer early fall it's time to charge these again because they only get so much sunlight from the solar panels and so we go in take them down and uh, we're about to put this puppy back up and we're gonna put that out there and we're gonna get some action and uh, hopefully we'll find some big buck coming in there now I don't plan necessarily on uh hunting this fall uh however i might uh depending on what kind of activity and what kind of deer we see out there but my hope and my goal is to get this land nurtured and make it a little bit of a, a sanctuary for deer because we've got 40 acres of land back here it's surrounded by fields on two sides and then on the other side there's a creek with woods on the other side of that and some neighbors on the other side of those woods and so there's a lot of privacy back here for them and there's some good low land like i said with this creek back here and so they can hide it's really thick it's real thick got a funny quick story for you so when we were taking those cameras off me and mrs lovely a couple days ago we were up here we didn't bother filming this but man i would have gave a thousand dollars had we filmed this for you we got on little red that's our polaris side by side 500 i think and we were going through the trails and we've not been through those tra trails practically all summer long and as we were going through there we were hitting spider webs after spider webs and pretty soon uh, this is cringy if, if you have a weak you know factor of uh yeah squirminess <laughs> like i do you might want to pause fast forward through here but i bet you we had 20 spiders uh, at any given time there was probably close to 20 spiders on the windshield crawling up the front swinging in on their web and <laughs> it was a nightmare uh mrs lovely said i feel like i'm on a, a ride at universal studios one of those scary rides or living in jumanji land and uh speaking of mrs lovely 
there she goes down there just as lovely as can be doing all the work for me cleaning up all the sticks while I'm up here just chatting with y'all let's get this box open see what's inside when I was younger real young I used to I used to hunt a decent bit but after I joined the military and got out and started a little career I uh, I never really have done much hunting so uh, again my goal is to just attract a lot of deer and if it seems like the right time and the right deer then I want to go back there and get him and uh, I plan on putting a tree stand up near this of course so that when that time comes I'll be ready so but this is gonna come first let's see how this thing works so it's got four boxes with it and it has what looks like the lid and this deal here so we're gonna get it together come back and let you see the finished product and just to clarify something so the reason I want this to become a sanctuary for deer is so that if there becomes a time if there comes a time when we have to rely solely on what we can grow what we can raise or what we can hunt for I would love this place to be full of deer so that I can take them as I need them and uh, supply food for the family I think they're beautiful God's creatures I want them to live as long and as happy as they can but if it comes down to it they'll be great there to feed the family I guess many of you know this but I didn't uh, it does not come with a battery so I've got to run get a battery I'll grab a quick lunch uh, or early dinner whatever you want to call this and uh, we'll get back here and put this thing out there in the woods or at, and I'll grab some you know some uh, feed some stuff to put in there corn or something there's a lot of cornfields around here so maybe I can find something sweet that would be a little bit more attractive to them so let's try to get it done here's what we found this is big and J long range attractants what I liked was it had the word aroma in it and uh, the aroma is super strong the range is super long they know how to rhyme so they must make good food for deer and i found this battery all right we're gonna set the time so you press the p program button and now the hour is flashing let's go up to four and i'm gonna move it over to this and we're gonna set the minutes and i believe we're at 407 all right program now, i don't know if it's got an am or a pm i can't really see it good so I zoomed in and it does have an AM PM so I'm gonna keep going until I go all the way around the clock again I'm on PM now all right so I think we're good okay we're gonna try to set the feed time and it says to press this arrow up twice in a row I do that and the time is blinking and what's supposed to be happening is there should be a the word off and a feed time blinking so I'll try that again press the arrow button twice to set the first feed time okay there it is and then i can set i can press this and i can start setting my first time okay that's pm let's go am let's do a let's do a 5 30 am first feed time I guess I want to get woke up early in the morning by these deer coming in and hitting my camera we'll do a 545 <laughs> okay boom now it says to do it again I guess I can oh it's the duration okay so the duration yeah so you got a 5 10 let's go back over here 5, 10, 15, and 20 minute duration. So we'll make that one a five minute duration. Okay. Now there are a total four feed times, so we can do this three more times. I'm performing a test in three, two, and one. Test was successful. Well, I'll set the rest of the feed times uh, when you don't have to watch <laughs> and we'll get all the feed times on here but yeah this is cool here's a test one more time 
it's eight, seven, six. It does a countdown. I want you to get those fingers out of the way. Two, one, and test. <laughs> So I just did a little bit more playing with the time and I did adjust my uh, feeding times. Uh, I think the first one now is 6.30. The next one is, uh, I believe, 10.30 in the morning. And then I've got one at 4.30 in the afternoon and that's going to be in just a few moments. So hang tight and we're gonna actually test and see if this goes off at 4.30. All right, well, it's just moments until our test should uh, begin and uh, that that third feeding time should hit and it should be a duration of five seconds and i'll check and see if that actually is the case or not but mrs levy and i were just talking about uh how fun it's going to be to be able to check our camera and see raccoons climbing all over this thing trying to get up in there and uh, squirrels and you name it uh which brought she started saying you know we need to make sure it's all it has on it is that little clasp you know uh, I might drill holes where those two holes exist on the lid into the, the actual barrel and uh, put some kind of locking mechanism, something that I can sh ensure that they just can't open up and get in to. So we may do that. But yeah, any moment this should take off and we should see some spinning action. There's no food in there yet, so we're not going to get dirty. But we are going to see what it will do. Patiently waiting. I was just telling Mrs. Lovely it's time to go put this stuff out there. What did you say? I said it's time for the Universal ride. Time for the Universal Studios ride where you have all these spiders jumping out at you and getting in your face. It's uh, it, it, it's getting dark in them woods too. I'm telling you, we should have got this done earlier. We spent too much time out running around in town. But uh, sun's still up. We still got plenty of time. And that's the west, so we'll be getting some sun coming in from that side. So yeah, here comes the fun. Let's hope we don't encounter a thousand spiders like we did last time going out there in the woods. But uh, yeah, we're going to get the feeder out there and get these two cameras in the woods. Then we'll get the other cameras afterwards. Let's do it. All right, we got this set up. We got Baby Doll. We got Bambi. We got some Big and J feet, I think, B something. We got the feeder, the ladder, the legs, and most importantly, we got spider killer. Yes. Wish us luck.
his butt off at me for uh, the dances I would do when I'd come around with spiders. I'd walk into a wet. Oh, jeez, look. There it is. You missed it. A big one right there. I'm afraid they're going to crawl up my stick. to go into the spider's lair let's let's go on down through there this was the bad area last time if you see them honey, tell me and i'll try to sweep them off before we get to them it's helped so far use my stick first to clear my way come back and get the ladder and then i'm gonna come back and get the feeder and bring you with me because i'm gonna need your help okay okay deal 
Are we all clear for spiders? We're all clear. I was just remembering the last time I was down there, down the trail, when we came a couple days ago and I left you in the in little red here. And I was all the way down there at my uh, where my camera goes on the big oak tree back there and I could hear her back here. Uh-uh. Heck no. A few choice words. I won't say it on camera, but she was not having those spiders because by this time, there were a dozen at this point right here mm -hmm. all over the windshield yeah. and they were falling in. It was freaky. And I don't know if Sean told y'all, but uh, the first of the year, uh, like in the spring or early summer, oh, yeah. I had a huge spider bite that almost destroyed my leg and yeah. i had to take a high powered antibiotics and use there, antibiotics to mess around with yeah for two months it's true so uh we don't want that to happen again but we're good i've cleared it all out all right this is our low oak creek trail and we get a lot of activity right here Right here, I've got a uh, trail crossing. They go, it goes that way, it goes that way, and it cuts that way all the way to, to the creek. So there's tons of activity. If you look back at our keen video, when I was installing these keens, at the very end of that video, got some cool buck footage and a lot of dough right here. Just hooking up the solar panel now, getting it back on here. It's a little tricky. If my eyes were 10 years younger, It'd be a lot easier. There it is. The whole time I had it upside down. Okay. All right, that'll do it. And you guys who've not been, you know, watching and haven't seen the Keen uh, cameras or the Rio Link cameras, they will pan left to right. They will tilt up and down. I can sound an alarm. Obviously, I won't do that with an animal. I can talk if it's a person, and they can talk back to me. Um, and uh, it records. It sends me immediate notifications. It's pretty awesome. I've had these for a while now, and I couldn't be happier. So right there is the camera on that tree. And right here is the feeder. Now, we've only got the first two legs in. We're going to put these two in next. But first, I'm going to get this Big and J long range attractants granular feed in there and uh, uh i figured that'd be a lot easier than to do it at eight feet tall so let's do that here you go mrs lovely hold on to that let's see if we can get this cut open it's actually wanting to tear but let's just go right here this is some real fine stuff i mean that's real fine yeah, it's like sand. I don't know how that'll do in this thing, but I'd say it'll go through it pretty quick. We'll find out. It smells like seeds in here. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Just in here. I am uh, nice and powdered up. The dogs are gonna love me. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll show it once we get all the legs on. All right, there it is, lovely people. It's a big one, and there's the camera. So there's the trail coming from the west. This one's coming from the north, and behind me, it's coming from the east. And to the west, or to the south here, we just got thick woods, so a lot of good cover for them. But this trail is amazing. Uh, a lot of overflow when the when it's really flooding and the creek overflows there's a low spot that brings it right down through here and that's why this path is so good this is not my doing this is the uh, actual water flow that comes down through here so tons of tr uh, uh, deer signs and uh, tracks and all kinds of things down here so i think we're in good shape this is probably about i don't know 35 feet from the camera so we're gonna get lots of action here. I can't wait to show you. So yeah, this is the, the trail going back to Little Red up here. But look at this huge, huge oak tree. But yeah, that looks good back there. Well, lovely people, we're gonna go hang two more cameras. But for you, we're gonna call it a, we're gonna call it a night for you. And uh, I just wanna thank you for coming. 
If this is your first time here, we are in the process of creating a 60 acre off-grid homestead, completely self-sufficient. And uh, our goal is to build a house out here as soon as we can. We don't know when that will be, but we're doing everything we can to get everything in place prior to that. We're in the middle of kind of finishing out the front of a pole barn so it can be emergency quarters or uh, come up here and hang out quarters and shower and cook and do what we need to it will kind of resemble a tiny house but it's not a living space it's just a place that we can enjoy and be at comfortably and clean up while we are up here working look at all this activity insane it's all over the place I just saw deer run up that way. Did you see that, Mrs. Lovely? Deer, right up there. Heavy movement. Anyway, thanks for joining us here at the lovely place. Sorry, I lost you there for a second. Uh, I had you pointing behind me, I think. But yeah, there was some good movement of deer up here. If you would, like and subscribe. We'd love for you to join us on this journey as we take this lovely place and we turn it into this off-grid homestead. We'll talk to you next time. God bless you.